Alrighty, so whoa, of course I, I of course I threw that. So what I got to do today is I got to change the prop on my outdrive of the boat, which uh, the other day when I took it out, I put the prop in mud in the water and it just tore the prop up. You're going to see that in a second. But what I got here is a new prop. This one is a three blader prop instead of a four. Instead of a four. And I got this at Ben Watts Marina that is located on Fox Lake, I think. I think it's Fox Lake, but uh, but yes. Unfortunately, I had to spend a lot of money and get a new prop. Uh, it comes with, uh, I'm assuming, a bearing kit and the prop itself. That fan feels good, seriously, it's hot. And there she is. This is uh, an official Mer Cruiser prop not an aftermarket and so yeah this cost a pretty penny for what it is it cost two hundred and twenty dollars but uh yeah i am disappointed it's not a four bladed prop because the four blader prop i read it's a, a little bit more gas efficient but it's not as fast when it comes to the top end speed this is faster than a four bladed prop so we are going to go faster in the boat but we're probably gonna drain a little bit more gas. So what, we're, what we need to do is we're going to install this today and we are gonna see if the Ryobi half inch impact, uh, the half inch impact driver is powerful enough to take that uh, nut off that's been on there for probably 10 or something years. So that's today's test to see if this is powerful and we're gonna we are gonna use a six amp hour battery for this to give it that little extra oomph I gotta put this on my car seat because it was what happened at the during a storm that we had a few days ago it, it was a mess so that needs to dry some more still let's put that to that In here I'm hoping that the sun majorly helps to dry that. Awesome, it is a half inch, fantastic. Fantastic. And once again, we have a little birdie stuck in here. Look at there, there you go, there you go. But let's see what this kit comes with. Looks like it's fiberglass. Yeah, that looks like it's fiberglass. Alright, so that's what it comes with. Is this the right size too? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Fantastic. I have no clue how this goes on. So I guess first thing I got to do is take these off. I might need some WD-40 a little bit here and there. Spray a little bit here. A little bit around here.
now that that's like that, I'm wondering if it's okay if I, I might, okay, now that those are loose, I might need to take this off. Let's see, really quick. Holy cow. It took it off. Wow. That took it off immediately. Seriously. After being on it for years. For years. That came off with ease. Fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. See, the right tool for the right job. Seriously, that came, that, the right tool for the right freaking job. Now I bet you, oh, that's a, excellent. Excellente. But look, look at this blade. Look at the, look, all, every single blade is absolutely screwed. All I did was put it in mud, but it, this uh, was repaired a long time ago, as you see right there. It was repaired previously, so it was already a weak, uh, a weak uh, prop, but that came off like nothing, seriously. Wow, seriously, I, I'm amazed at how easily that came off because of this. This is uh, this job is so much easier. I'm just gonna put that on because that's the first thing that goes on. Because I have it, I'm gonna use this. Oh, that's so much better. Seriously. I love my Ryobi tools. Alright, so that goes on first, then this. No, that's the wrong diagram. There we go. Yeah, this is the right one. Alright, so then this. I'm not sure if I should put this in there first. I'm going to assume I have to mallet this part in. A bit more. Try not to hit too hard. That should be it, actually. I think that should be okay. No, we're gonna do a little bit more, just in case. That should do it. All right, let's put this on. Then put this on. There we go, yeah, see that? This part just should slide right on in. You just do not need to hammer that in at all. And that is rotating smoothly, make sure you're doing that. So, success so far. And I, this is seriously easy. I am not having any issues whatsoever. Uh, besides, you know, dropping this. There you are. So then you go in like that. I'm 
going to put this in slowly. So what we're going to do is go to setting one. Maybe two. I need to do, it might need to be three. Yep, it needs to be three. But, I have to reverse it a tiny bit. I'm gonna make sure that stays in there. go. And that is in there nice and snug. But what we're going to do is I'm going to take this just to make sure. We're going to do it just for a two more seconds. That, sh that should actually be just fine. And there you go. That's installed. That is a major locking, uh, locking nut. Sounds good. And of course, one thing you want to do before you put it out in the water, you want to do a test. And we're going to conduct, conduct that test right now. So I'm gonna let that warm up for a few minutes, uh, get it to operating temperature, and then uh, we'll conduct the test. It's hot today. It is. So, as you can see, that job was extremely easy. Uh, I did not realize when I bought it that it was going to be a three prop, uh, three bladed prop instead of a four, which I'm actually excited to see what the difference is because, like I said, the four is a little slower, but it's more gas efficient. The three bladed prop is, a little, is faster, but uses up a little bit more gas. So, luckily for this tool, the half inch impact from Ryobi, that job was done in about six minutes. The actual uh, time of me working on it was six minutes, and that's also, that's also including figuring out the synchronized parts, how they go on, and taking the old one off. So, thanks to this tool, it made this go by so much faster. Now, the other, the other day when I did the, uh, the hitch for the for my car, it took eight hours when it was supposed to take about 40 minutes. And that's because I did not have the right tool for the right job. The tool that they recommended to have is the multi-job tool by any brand with the socket attachment, which I didn't have, so it took me forever to uh, get, the, get those bolts in because of the amount of movement I had. Uh, underneath the car it took me forever just to do one bolt and then I'd end up taking off taking bolts off and then they wouldn't fit back on you know it was a mess but the job's done it's successful uh, and yes yeah. so this was uh 
This was a very successful day. Thanks to this tool. It's worth it. This tool is worth it. It made my job so much easier. I seriously thought this was gonna take like three hours to do. It took me six minutes to do. And it, I love my Ryobi tools. It is hot. But now I gotta mow the lawn. So I got the lawnmower right here, ready to go. I think I can get by through my car. But uh, that's pretty much it. So this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.